All right, this is gonna be Gold Star Galore. This is one of my biggest PSA return videos that I've ever done. This is pretty much my OG Gold Star collection. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Let me just go ahead and show you the expected value on this thing. So as you can see here, we've got a Blastoise first edition and Gold Star, 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 Gold Star. Gold Star. Let's take a look at the other page, shall we? Gold star, gold star, gold star. <laughs> Total declared value of $20,000. Um, I will say this was graded kind of rough on some things, but there are a few surprises. I'm gonna basically run you through every card, and if I have more to say about that card, I will tell you that, and I'll kind of elaborate on that card towards the end of the video. And I will say, pardon my voice, as you guys can tell, it's a little different. I've been a little under the weather. But uh, yeah, we're gonna jump right in, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what we get. All right, guys, so I got them in piles. We're gonna go set by set, true gold star fashion. So I'm gonna show you all the gold stars set by set as we go down. But first we do have a Blastoise, and these are still in PSA's little sleeves. They're not like the best, but I'll take a couple cards out. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys the card, and then I'm gonna point out like I have more to say about this. And then if I say that for any card, it's gonna be at the end of the video, but Jumping right in, we have a first edition Blastoise. This is and received a five. I was pretty much expecting a six on this. Um, so to get a five, that's understandable. I I don't know, I really have trouble with the five grades. They, they look really clean to me. Every time I see a card like this, like yeah, the edge wear is bad, but, and you got it, you know, multiple points on each side but it really underestimates me. Um, it kind of catches me off guard, rather. So, yeah, it kind of catches me off guard either way. Um, so, yeah, that, that four, I pretty, I pretty well know what a four is, basically, if it has, like, a crease. It just kind of confuses me, you know? Like, a, a card could be perfect and have a crease and get a four, but a card could, like, look clean with no creases and get a five. So that, that four to five range for me is really, really weird. But overall happy with this. Turns out my Charizard is a PSA five and I have the Venusaur out at PSA right now. So we'll just pop that right back in the box. Pretty much if I'm okay with the grade, it's gonna go back in the box. If I have more to say or, you know, it kind of irks me, I'm gonna set that off to the side and we will talk about that at the end of the video. Next up, we have EX Team Rocket Returns. This is the Hoenn Trio. Starting off, bam, we got a Mudkip PSA 9. I'm really happy about this card. This one exceeded expectations, so I was really happy with that. Torchic, this one got a 4. Now, this one was pretty much like it looks good on the hollow, but with the edges and stuff, um, it does have like a little creasing there. So I knew this one was going to be on the lower side for sure. But, uh, you know, I'll take it. These cards, even in lower grades, there are some cards in the sub that got lower than a four. I will show you guys those. Unfortunately, they are some of the bigger cards. Um, but, you know, gold stars are gold stars. It's worth grading them no matter what. Next up, we have a Near Mint 7 on the Trico. This one does not have as much hollow. This Torchic is very hard to grade because of the light colors in the background, so that white especially picks up the hollow scratches. However, my copy was pretty much just from the, you know, bent sides. So, yeah, really happy with these two cards for sure. Trico, I was right in the same boat. I honestly thought this and the Mudkip were pretty close by. Um, but yeah, I guess Mudkip, it does just have that little white ding. Um, let me show you guys. Is this a, is this a conspiracy? Am I, uh, conspiring? This is the PSA 9 Mudkip and PSA 4 Torchic. You know, the Torchic gets whatever, but this, uh, this Mudkip, it could be contributed a little off-center, but look at, look at the edge wear, right? Exact 
same edgeware, huh? PSA, what do you got to say, huh? What is that? Yeah, I'm just messing. Those, uh, I think those were there when I sent them in, but pretty happy with these three grades. I'm not sure if I want to keep these or not. I do want to keep some of my gold stars for sure. These three are like some of the harder ones to grade. Um, so yeah, for the ones that are hard to grade, I kind of want to hold on to, but we'll see. Next up, we have the big boys, EX Deoxys. We got a five on the Latias. <clears throat> we got a seven on the Latios. And you know what's next? We got that Rayquaza. My Rayquaza beat my expectations. I was expecting a four and it got a five. Look at that swirl though. I don't know if I can get rid of this card. That is like the coolest swirl of all. Can you even beat that on this card? It's like coming out of its mouth. So yeah, here's the EX Deoxys um, Gold Star cards. I'm pretty happy with these. These two I thought were really similar. The Latias was definitely more edge wear um, than the Latios. You can't really tell too much on here, but it had like that little running, that running line on the left side and the corners were um, definitely on the struggle bus. But Latios um, looks really clean. I was maybe hoping for a seven or eight. I'm pretty happy with the seven. So, you know, if you're one grade off, what can you do? With the Rayquaza though, especially seeing that Torchic getting a four, I was really expecting this to get a four. The corners are like, you see, it's almost kind of like peeling up. I got this gold star way back in the day and uh, I actually got it for a binder collection, but obviously now they're, they're too expensive to keep in the binder in my opinion. Um, but the back looks okay and it's really the front and PSA takes into account the eye appeal. So uh, maybe since they see so few of these go through their box, they uh, cut me some slack, but yeah, very, very cool card. I might get rid of this to upgrade the condition. I don't know, but it's going in the box. I'm pretty happy with the grade that received. Next up, we have Delta Species. This first card is going to be one that kind of questionable. It is a near mint or not near mint, excellent to mint. Groudon Hollow, it got a PSA six. And we also have the Kyogre in the set. A PSA five, okay. And then next up we have the Metagross, a PSA eight. So pretty solid grades there. I do, let's just take a quick look at these. This this one kind of surprised me. I was thinking a seven or an eight possibly. Um, maybe it's something I missed. It's got, you know, a couple dings on the backside. But the hollow surface of this card was actually really good. So I was kind of hoping for more there. Um, um, it's okay to get a six on this guy. But yeah, I was just, I was just wanting a little more. On the Kyogre, however, getting the five, this one is just, uh, I don't know, pretty, pretty rough. Pretty rough getting a five on this. Um, the back, I mean, yeah, we got that, you know, that top left corner. What's going on there? But uh, otherwise, unless there's something I'm missing, I'm going to have to look at this, you know, a lot more clearly off camera. Um, but honestly, like this one, this one really surprised me. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be in the surprise pile. Metagross. I thought this guy had a shot at a nine. This one is a little disappointing. Um, looking at the back, it has the edge wear right, but it's not even close. So, I mean, the argument could be made, you know, that that's nine quality in, in my opinion. So unless I miss something on the front, I think this should have gotten a nine. Um, gonna definitely have to take a closer look, but this card also has a swirl, I believe, in there somewhere. Um, maybe it's another card I'm thinking of. But this card, yeah, I, I was really kind of disappointed in this. This was one of the better gold stars that I had, and I thought it really had a shot at a nine. I thought 
the front had a shot at a 10, but with the back and those little corners, I was like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a nine. So yeah, a little disappointed in that, but what can you do? All right, <clears throat> next up, EX Legend Maker. I think there's some more disappointments in here. We have a Near Mint 7 Reg Ice. This one I was super bummed about. This one I thought it was kind of along the lines of Metagross. It had a PSA 9 chance. Um, so yeah, really disappointed in this one. We have a Near Mint to Mint 8 Reggie Rock. Pretty, pretty much what I was, you know, thinking on that one. And then a EX to Mint 6 Registeel. So I'm not sure on this one. I I honestly didn't look at these guys that that much because you know they're just the Reggies. But yeah, you got the bottom edge wear, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird, right? So I'm okay with these two. This Reg Ice though, I don't know. I think they were just really, really rough on me on the back edge wear. But even so, like this one, I mean, yeah, it's got the top left, but there must be like a surface scratch. Like the hollow is pretty pristine. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll take a closer look at that one too. These cards that I'm setting off to the side, I will take a closer look. I'm gonna take the sleeve off and everything. So yeah, we'll take a real close look at those. Next up, we have another one that I thought was gonna get a really high grade. The Gyarados from Holland Phantoms. This one looks so cool in a PSA slab. And uh, yeah, it's just shining so beautifully there. And uh, next up, we have the Pikachu, who got a nice PSA 6. These guys, honestly, um, what was I thinking on these? You know, again, I think I was thinking a 9 for the Gyarados, honestly. And uh, you can see that bottom left edge looks rough and that top left. So being, if it really is the back edge wear that they were really docking, you know, on the extreme, I could understand where this got a seven because uh should be eight quality in my opinion. But if they're really strict on it, it makes sense why this got a seven. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll take a look at that one too. Pikachu, though, I mean, yeah, it's got, you know, again, if they were being very strict on the back, this one, this one's more believable because it's got it pretty much all the way around. This, this part right there is intruding on the border. And uh, so, yeah, this makes sense. Um, maybe this is an old PSA 7 quality if this cert was like in the, the six millions um, or 60 millions, whatever it is. I I just thought this front was really good though. It, it has a really nice front. So yeah, he's looking good on the front side. Understandable though, it was definitely not one of the, you know, pristine ones that I was hoping for. We only have one card. Um, also, you know, it's Holland Phantoms. It was missing the Mewtwo. If you're wondering about the Mewtwo, check out my last submission and returns video. I think it's number 11. This one should be 12. But I sent Mewtwo and Charizard off because I knew they were kind of higher grades. And I was pretty pretty happy with those grades. So um, you will not see Charizard in this video. Next up, we have the Mew. We have the Mew. I was disappointed in this. I'm pretty sure there is a video up on my channel. Um, I did crack this out of the case for a binder. Um, you know, this was pre 2020 hype. Um, so I've always been a collector. I don't know why I cracked it out as a nine, but, uh, it got a seven. So really disappointed there. I'm going to have to check the videos because yeah, it's got, it's got a couple nicks, but if they were really strict, like on the other cards, I think this maybe should have gotten an eight. Um, that is me knowing that this was a nine before. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's why I'm thinking that way. So from a seven to a nine, you're almost doubling your money though. So it, it won't really double my money because I have to pay for the grading fees and all that, but it might be worth giving this a shot again. Um, but I'll have to watch some other videos to see if they're pretty strict like they are with mine here. 
So, you know, it is what it is. We're not gonna do anything or look any further on that one. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Power Keepers Trio. We got Flareon, Near Mint 7. We got Jolteon, Near Mint 7. And we got Vaporeon, PSA 9. Whoa! So yeah, these were pretty much expected. This Vaporeon was cracked out of the case as well, and it did, in fact, grade a 9 back in the day. So I was really happy with this. See, they just got that little corner ding down there. So the other corners are pretty much flawless. So yeah, it's kind of crazy that little ding down there makes it a 9. I, I agree with that, but it's just, you know, me knowing old cards. Like, this is an old PSA 10, basically. You know, there's PSA 10s that have more edge wear than that. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to travel back a ways. But, uh, yeah, these these guys, I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan on the Evolutions. Um, so maybe these will be up for sale. I don't know. Next up, last but not least, we have the Pop Series Gold Stars, Espeon and Umbreon. And these were rough. You know, I told you I had something lower than a four. These guys both got the good two. If you guys saw my video, I think I took them out of the penny sleeve, but these guys are in very rough condition. They do actually have like creases on them. I know you can't see them very well. Um, you can kind of see, yeah, for sure right there. You see that? I'm pretty sure that's on the card. Uh, I thought you could see it. Maybe not. The The thing I showed you, it was like on the sleeve, but there there is a bend like that. Um, that little dot's on the sleeve, I believe, but I'll take these out and kind of show you guys a little more as well. But they did have little hairline creases. So I was expecting like a, a four, maybe a three, because they have a lot of surface damage as well. Um, so these were kind of a little bummer. But they're Umbreon and Espeon. These are still worth a pretty penny. They're worth more than some of these gold stars are in like a six or seven. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at our pile right here. Um, I'm going to take the sleeves off and we're going to look at these a little closer. So if you guys are heading out here, thanks for watching. Be sure to sub for more, bro. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack these out and uh we'll check it out all right like i said was hoping for a little better on the kyogre um you are seeing the surface scratches there okay that probably brings it down to like an eight quality when you talk about the the edge wear um i think it's mostly this bottom right that bottom with the other cards that they were being very strict that's a pretty rough looking bottom. So I could say maybe they dropped it down to a seven or eight just from the back. And then the surface scratches, maybe a six or seven. Um, other than that though, I mean, maybe there's a little something going on down here. Let me, let me see if I can, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is on there. So maybe that's what did it. Um, I'll have to take another closer look, but it makes more sense now why that got a little lower um maybe i missed that i don't know i'll have to double check metagross let's see if there's something here look at that i mean you know those old neo and old card hollows where they just glimmer like a certain way that's what this metagross does like when you saw this outside of the sleeve and outside of the psa case it just shimmered at you um so yeah Edgeware on the back, we got one, we got two. I think if it was just that one, it'd be a PSA 9, since it's both of them. Makes sense why I got an 8. I I really think they just kind of cracked down on the edgeware on the back. Um, makes sense. It's really hard not to have a prejudgment with these cards, given how old they are and how old and hard to grade they are, you know. This one here, there's got to be something going on here, though. This one, it it's hollow pattern also shimmers at you. But I'll have to maybe take a closer look. I mean, maybe this left side? I don't know. This one, uh, 
This one is not doing it for me. Just looking at it through the camera here also. So I'll take a closer look at these. Um, and I'll give you all an update if I find anything. So, yeah, really weird there. Gyarados? I mean, is there something on Gyarados? Um, I don't know. Got Edgeware there, Edgeware here, Edgeware there. It's like they're taking off a grade for every corner, you know? It's like, oh, it's PSA 10. Oh, there's PSA 9, PSA 8, PSA 7. All right, it's a 7. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I think they are just really rough on the backside. Hate it when they're rough on the backside, you know? All right. Espeon, let's see how much damage you guys can see. I do honestly agree with these grades. It makes sense that I was thinking four, possibly three. And if they were rough on them with the backsides and stuff, I understand why they dropped down to a two. It sucks they were like that. But yeah, see, you see the surface of this thing. I know it's hard not to pay attention to my my lighting, but just the surface on this thing was not good. And it's almost got like a crushy crush corner there. I'm telling you, this one did not have any creases per se, but it, it's got some, yeah, it's got some surface damage and straight up like bends. There, I think there's kind of one right here you might be able to see. And it, it kind of goes across the card. So there's like two lines almost. So it's it's there, but it's not like creasy, you know. It's, it's bend but not creasy. But either way, it's surface damage on the dimension there. So it makes sense. And the last card in the after hours of this grading submission is the Umbreon. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the front. There is a little crease down here, and that is like raised. You can, yeah, you can tell that's raised there. And then there's another one off to the side over here that you can't really see on the front side. But if you flip it over to the back side, there it is right there. So this one actually has physical, like, creasy creases in it. Um, otherwise, this one's surface is a lot more clean than the Espeon. Um, it's a very nice looking card. You know, it's not like this edge is like whited to shreds, but it's got very subtle hairline creases. So with that in mind, I was automatically thinking a four. Pretty much if you send stuff in the PSA and it, it's got a little crease, creasy crease, it's gonna be a PSA four. So either way, guys, it's nice to see these cards graded again. Fun fact, I, I this was like one of my oldest PSA submissions, like back in 2013. I still have like the uh, the PSA order to prove it. Um, but uh, I, I had this in a nine and this in an eight, and I remember selling them. And it wasn't for much more than like 400, 500 bucks for two of them together. And that was insane money. That was like some of the most expensive cards in the hobby at that time. So it's just kind of crazy how much more, like one of these guys in a two is more than that. So it's kind of crazy just the prices of everything now and what has become of it. But there is one more grading submission video I have coming that's going to be the last of my gold stars. But when that comes back, I'm going to have all of my childhood gold stars graded and I'm going to wait to sell any of these just so I can get like a full gold star picture. And uh, it's going to be really cool to see. It's been a long time coming. And uh, finally got my gold stars graded. And uh, even though some of them were a little disappointing, it's worth it to grade it. And this is my childhood collection, essentially. That Vaporeon gold star that I bought in the 9, I actually bought around the time of 2015, 2016. And that was essentially the last gold star I needed. So I had all these gold stars before 2016, essentially which is just nuts. Um, some more of the sentimental ones, like the Charizard. Um, in my other video, bought that one for like $25. I got I got stories with these things that go on and on. This, would, this goal was like unattainable to me when I first started out. And I just really hit it hard, really stuck with it. And when I first started out, you know, we're talking 2011, 2012. 
it took me all the way up till like 2016 to finish that goal. And I thought it was just unattainable then. Um, so I'm sure a lot of people out there are saying it's un, un, unattainable today. And yeah, it is pretty insane with the way the prices are. But if you truly have that goal, just stick with it. It's going to take you maybe longer than five plus years like it took me. But if, you, if that's truly what you want, if that's truly what you want at the end of your collecting career or your collecting life, um, just stick with your goals. You'll, you'll get there. Um, don't buy all the, all the stupid shit. All right. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Look, he's even saying peace. Peace. Peace out.